There's no arguing that one of the most effective close quarters combat strategies is the headbutt. Very, very effective at totally just annihilating your attacker and stopping the fight in a split second. Now what happens a lot of times though is that when people are doing the headbutt, they usually come in from the back of the head and smash, the, smash the, their face down into the crown of the head. That can be very, very effective. Unfortunately, what happens a lot of times is that the head, or when, when somebody feels your hands behind their head, it tenses up their shoulders and they, their hands come up. So even if you have the inside of the clinch here and I come down here, which again, this can work, but I have a lot harder time, with, especially with a larger attacker, to be able to pull him into me while I'm going forward. Does it work? Yes, it does. But the best and the most effective knockouts that I've seen, both in person and in fights that are caught on tape, have to do with a headbutt that comes from a shirt grab, from a whiplash motion. And here's why it works so well. is because with here, you can't really do a whiplash thing, okay? Because you've got the back of his head. However, and his shoulders are tense. But from here, when you grab the shirt, and this works very, very effectively, especially if they're not, if they're not um, expecting it. You know, you're kind of in this situation where it's chest to chest. You grab, push, bring it down right into your, uh, the, the crown of your head. But even if you have some sort of resistance from it, here's what happens. And here's, here's why mechanically this works so well. Come here a little bit more. Okay. What happens is when you push forward, what happens to the shoulders is it disengages. So that muscular strength that he had before, what happens is the natural reaction of the body is to disengage those shoulders. They kind of hunch forward as I'm, as I'm pushing him forward. Now when I bring him back toward my face, what happens is the shoulders naturally come back and the arms open up. So if you look at this whiplash motion like that, you can do it on yourself and you can just imagine if you were in a car, in a car accident, shoulders come forward, shoulders come back. It opens them up for the attack and it totally opens up their face to be able to just smash it right into the crown of my head and take them out. Again, this has been proven over and over again to be one of the most effective knockout strategies, the shirt whiplash effect when it comes to the headbutt.